So I thought we'd just have a little look at some of the material we've, we've got on the, the kind of beginnings of modern sport. So most of the stuff which I'll explain in a little while relates to the late Victorian period when sport was just starting to really get into gear and become really popular and, um, with, with mass participation and mass audiences. We have these wonderful photographs from Tyne Vale Cycling Club, again the 1880s and the 1890s. This, this was the great working class escape. You could get out of Tyneside by bike in some really lovely countryside. These three are Durham FA. We, we don't have the records of any of the big football clubs, but we have quite good amateur records. So we have Northumberland and Durham uh, Football Association records. On this table, uh, we got out Percy Park Rugby Club, which was apparently uh, a quite astonishing club in the late Victorian period again. A big, well-organised, well-established club, and you've done some coaching for it. Yeah, well, I played there, but I didn't. I didn't play until I was 31. Mm -hmm. I fancied a game, and my wife had me fixed up for a game the following week. I had no <laughs> boots or anything. <laughs> but then I uh, played for 10 years, and then coached the youth rugby for seven, I think it was. Excellent. And on here, I mentioned the building plans, and again, picking up on the popularity of sport in Victorian times. These are building plans for skating, for boxing, for uh, an amateur football club wooden stand. So feel free to have, have a break. That was uh, a medal that was given to me when I refereed at the Commonwealth Games. It was a first. It was a first Commonwealth Games I had. It was a demonstration uh, sport at the time. And claim to fame, I didn't realise this. I was the first national referee to step onto the mat and to referee the first ever competition at the Commonwealth Games. Do you think the sports changed since you've been well, involved? Well, it's like all the sports, the last Olympics, I've thought yeah. done very, very bad in this country. <clears throat> Not just judo, but even uh, athletics, because they only took, I believe, one medal. Uh, athletics and it's like all sports if they do well and then they will get a stronger membership judo was a way of life for me for many many years i really enjoyed it and i had some of the the most successful judo players through my hands my family fungi oh, so i have one every year fit at heart fit at heart right oh, and the sticky right. ball is on to the <laughs> This is back in 2006. Yeah. And I think within a year of us becoming involved, they changed the criteria to put the money into the young people. Young people. So we were sort of left, you know, them off the streets and not get them um, So it's difficult for uh -huh. older people to get yes. the money. To, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sam says we're the only group of over 55s in South Chainside, and he'd love to start it up in a different, you know, part of the borough. Yeah. Um, but we found it very, very difficult. Difficult. You know, just the funding part. I mean, we've all stuffed together through thick and thin, but we'll put a lot of our own money into it, you know, by fundraising and um, doing different things. That was me, George. I actually, in the 1982, the had two bad legs and she's still doing it. Wow. And she said the grannies were keep passing her and she was getting bad. <laughs> we went to watch her yeah, and see her exactly. finish her. Oh. And do you go every year? Well, I used to be on Tuesday. I was in the St John's ambulance oh, until really? about three years ago. When you were at St John's, did you feel there were more people from outside the region? So oh, yes, because the country if they came in even for a last class, we had to take, oh, we've come from Gloucester, we've come from Kent, yeah. and we're still, oh, this way. That was the Pearl of Shoe Owens who won the half marathon. Do you think the Great North Runs put the North East on the map? Oh, definitely. It was in 1984. That was the, uh, the official photograph over the, over the lane. Do, were you there as a spectator that yes. day? Yes. What do you remember? It was just absolutely phenomenal. The, um, the hype of the, and of course, with having your husband in it and your family. They, it was just like absolutely just fantastic. 